something else. It's never flooded this high before that, that we're aware of. At the center of McKinney Falls State Park is Onion Creek, running at record high levels after all night rainfall. We got about five feet of water inside the building. Inside the Smith Center yes. Visitor Center, park staff assess and clean up the damage. And a flooded sewage system makes restrooms inoperable. We're going to be getting every, everyone out by 2 o'clock today uh, so that the park staff can focus on, uh, on making repairs. Primary campgrounds are located on higher grounds and are unaffected by the flood. But until repairs can be made, the park will be closed at least through the weekend and possibly longer. Visitors with reservations are being contacted by the State Park Reservation Center. Now, this will be a significant revenue hit, probably in the neighborhood of $25,000. But for park staff, this isn't a new dance. Visitors come to state parks because they want to be near the water and out in nature. Mother Nature has a mind of her own sometimes. We'll uh, let her do her thing and then we'll get back to, to work in the park when she's done. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Karen Loke. Hello, my name is Ranger Rick, and I work with the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department at McKinney Falls State Park. Being a park ranger is something that really makes me want to get up in the morning. I often find myself getting to the falls early enough to see the sunrise. As the day begins, I patrol around the grounds in search of, well, anything that captures my attention. This could be anything from an injured bird to traces of human trash and garbage. Sometimes my job takes a more scientific role as I survey water temperatures, water quality, and keep tabs on the wildlife. McKinney Falls State Park is a 726 acre park acquired in 1970 from private donation and was open to the public in 1976. It is a treasured and unique natural landmark in Austin that many people are actually not aware of. Popular park activities include camping, hiking, mountain biking, road biking, picnicking, fishing, wildlife observation, and swimming in Onion Creek. Something quite devastating happened. On October 31st, 2013, severe weather came through the area and caused major flooding of the park. Within a few short days, water levels were able to rise so much that the visitor center, sitting high up on a hill, was filled with five feet of water. Such an intense flood left a heavy impact on the McKinney Falls environment and wildlife. It's my job to figure out what changes have occurred due to this flood, but it has turned out to be quite an ordeal. This job is too much for me to take on alone. I need some help, ideally from some field researchers. 